Hello guys, good morning. I'm back in the studio and that means I'm gonna make a painting. So last time I did a triptych with color splits and it turned out amazing. If you haven't seen it, go check it out after this video because the colors that I used, oh, I'm in love. But today I'm gonna do that again, but with more neutral colors. So I got here a Prussian blue, grayish blue and a light olive green. Gonna be interesting, bit toned down. Yeah, looking so much forward to this. And I want to tell you that you guys are my inspiration because you want to see things. I'm constantly trying to think of new colors, um, sizes, techniques, yeah, just a little bit different things to show you and what you can make. So thank you so much for that. But I was searching on Skillshare and Skillshare is a community platform with a lot of creatives on it and they have courses almost for everything. So if you want to learn something new, yeah, that's your platform. But I was searching there and there was this class and it's called Creative Breakthrough, Eight Exercises to Empower Your Creativity by Daniela Krishna. So they provided me with a link and it's in the description. So if you're interested, you can click on that and sign up on Skillshare and you get two months free. After those two months, it will be just $10 a month. Totally worth it, by the way. But yeah, I just can't wait to start pouring. So let's go. So as you can see, I already had a little go at it. Didn't work. Time for the second try. So here we go. Let's hope this works. Oh yeah, one was uh, very nice, so I kept that. It was this one, this color. But I was out of um, Prussian blue, so I'm using oxide black and uh, a little bit of winter blue in there. Okay, so good enough. I'm gonna start with uh, red violet because I think that's a color that would work on all of these. Go with violet. I'm gonna use a lot of color. Okay, let's go for gold. another color. I think this will do it. Sometimes less is more, maybe just a small part of copper. Okay, well let's pour here white. Blue. 
Oh, I hope this works right now. I feel like this is such a diff difficult color, this olive green. So I'm torching now to get the air bubbles out. I got a lot of questions the last time. So if I don't torch the air bubbles out right now and just let it dry with the air bubbles and I get these tiny pinholes. I don't mind that so much, but yeah, I can save it. So let me blow the white over the colors. Okay, most of the time if I blow it out, I'm not so much liking this, but I will tweak it with my mouth. Okay. Oh, I do like this one, especially here. Let's line them up. Delicate. Okay, yeah, this one. Uh, I don't know what I did there. All right. Time to torch this. Oh, it's already way better than I had. Okay, yeah, now I'm very pleased with this. Oh, I'm so happy I did it again. Yeah, this is gorgeous now. Oh, so happy. Oh, guys, I'm so happy I redid this one. You should have seen the other one. Nothing compared with this. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm curious how this uh, green will dry here as well. I love here that created the contrast yeah, and this this is just gorgeous yeah super happy with them guys please let me know if you got some ideas for these color split triptychs and stuff would love to hear that and as i said you guys are my inspiration so come with the inspiration and if you want to see the dried results, I post them on my Facebook or on my Instagram. And don't forget to check out my Amazon store as well. I listed there all the supplies that I use. Yeah, pretty happy with this. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>